Well, I, I think what would probably be quite, quite useful is if we actually tell people what the difference between live, be recorded and semi-live is, because I do think that there's a, a little bit of a misunderstanding around what we're actually trying to do. It's a huge fatigue, you know, of, of, uh, of these calls, that, uh, that you just need to do something different, something different, uh, different format, lighter, lighter touch, uh, and, uh, and something that you just want to, you know, uh, uh, spend uh, half an hour, an hour, uh, watching, right? Yeah, the, the, the term exhibition is a really interesting one. Um, and I think to be fair to what an exhibition is, it would be unfair of me to call what we delivered an exhibition. But I didn't want to make a huge mistake in spending significant amounts of money, which we didn't have. Um, and the whole process was we're an association we've got to service our members. So firstly on the sponsorship side uh, when it comes to monetizing your uh, partner companies or their exhibitors or sponsors are we still uh, looking at a similar uh, rate card? So what the avatar based platform offered was an experience that would be as close to an in-person conference as possible so you could converse with delegates overhear conversations as you walk past the group and interact with our other attendees as you would at an in-person conference. Well, it looks like we've got a lot of things to think about as we head. <laughs> no way I think any of us are speaking definitely and definitively about hybrid yet. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. I think it's engagement uh, Engagement is different from interaction, but interaction is really, really important. I've actually just done a list for the students of 21 ways that you can engage your audience and interactions one of those 21 ways. So that's why I want to make the distinction. <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's it. Suddenly you've become like creative and producer all in one when yeah. the, before you didn't have to do that. In terms of my experience of them, um, well, I think I can sum it up by saying I've, I've taken myself off now um, the speaker bureaus I was with that were promoting me virtually. You know, what's what's the important piece? Is it is it that you know people have comfortable seating? No, it's yeah. it's are they getting the information that they need? Um, is it engaging? Are they interested in listening? Because you're fighting with so many different factors that you don't normally have to deal with event fatigue, screen time fatigue, um, you know, competing priorities at home. Understand the needs of your clients, you know, so and go from there, not just we learn so much how to do networking and that's why we do everything. It's more what they want to achieve, you know, and if if it's enough for them to get those leads after the event as a list, you know, because they press that button on the exhibition stand, uh, I'm interested in connecting, and they pass it to the salespeople, let it be. Ray, I think it's fair to say that you were kind of all guns blazing really early on, February, March, and I think Karina and Adam, is it fair to say that you were kind of waiting in hope that the physical event would take place? Because, you know, I'd, I'd love to know what was behind those slightly different reactions to this jump to, to, to virtual. The best way to approach this course is to have one specific event in mind, but to never lose sight of the wider implications of living in the digital world. I've been thinking William's, William's voice and, and the platform that he has is, is likely one of the most important that our industry has right now. Like there's no one, there's nothing that needs to be heard more in my opinion than that what we offer, it has value. And it just, every time I hear them, it makes me excited. Sorry. Us too. <laughs> yeah, we're here for that. Why oh, sorry. <laughs> you know, who else to have other than William? Uh, you've been in the events industry, both virtual and physical, for many, many years right now. And especially- Not, not that many. How many? How many is well, that? Today? I think 25, I would say now. Okay. <laughs> so a lot. <laughs> Personally, I see William and refer to William as the go-to person when it comes to doing online events.